It's a jungle out there in Invercargill city centre, and now there's a safari to accompany it. Knitted animals have been scattered around the city to add a burst of colour to the Southland Festival of the Arts. I just suddenly decided that animals was a good idea, um, and it gave us plenty of scope for across the region as well, so uh, we could promote native species or we could just have some fun with um, unicorns. Um, or uh, flamingos. Uh, so yeah, just picked a theme and it, it was versatile enough for it to, to work for all sorts of groups. The areas or enclosures have been marked on a map for families to follow around the city and other parts of Southland to get a glimpse of the wild, exotic and sometimes fantastical animals. Ludlow said it was a community-wide effort helped along by a new community basket idea we just left baskets of wool and needles and um, doctor's surgeries, uh, hairdressers, uh, wherever there might be people that were just sitting around. Uh, and that's worked really well actually because we ended up with some um, lovely big lengths and people have talked to the people beside them and they might have not knitted for 30 years so they've picked them up and had a go and that's what it was all about. It was just about getting people back to some um, of those original skills and talking to each other. She said the safari idea in particular has been a big hit with families. It's a nice boost of colour, at, you know, in a grey kind of time of the year. Um, it's really, it adds a bit of interest, the kids have really enjoyed it. And I think that's been the best part of this particular project is that the, we've had the map and the kids have been able to go on a little, like a scavenger hunt, treasure hunt, looking for the different animals around town. So that's, that was, that's an unexpected bonus. A map of the safari can be found on a bit of a yarn's Facebook page. The animals will be on display until May 20. Sharon Rees, The South Today.